Jean-Michel Basquiat right here in Washington Square Park. It was the summer of 1976. We were both 15 years old. We were some of the kids of color in this area. And I had an assignment to make a small Super 8 film. So I, um, I called up Jean and I said, hey, meet me in the East Village at Astor Place and we'll get together and I'll just film you walking around the streets of Soho writing some graffiti and he said, okay, fine. At some point I started to notice some different graffiti that was up there, small poetic statements that were mysterious to me. He signed his name Samo and then he put a little C behind it for copyright. He simply Samo, S-A-M-O, pour Samo shit. Les murs étaient le, le support idéal pour lui. Even 78, 79, he was already famous for doing the same old graffiti pieces, but nobody knew who he was. Now you're being it. Coming through on the MIC. Easy. Like one, two, three. He was doing these same old pieces all over the Soho. He would do them before anyone would see him doing them and run away. He only did it, you know, around the art galleries, the scene, the art world, whatever. I filmed him tagging up on the street. He just seemed like a, like a, a perfect subject for film. He was breaking new ground, but also he told me something once, um, which was he was frustrated because he couldn't get the style of graffiti, he didn't know how to write like a graffiti artist, but he didn't have to because he was doing something different. They weren't graffiti artists or graffiti writers in the usual sense of the word because those guys really, it was kind of just, they were participating in almost the sport of, of graffiti. It, it, it was, you know, getting up all over the city was a, quite an accomplishment. He was separate from the graffiti culture because the graffiti culture was about groups of graffiti artists and gangs and crews and everything like that. He was not part of it. The graffiti scene was full blown. There was graffiti all over the subways, all over the streets and everywhere. But what John did was very different from traditional graffiti. He, he wrote what he thought. And then when he came to the Canal Zone party and we finally saw who he was and what he looked like. Samo, Samo, S-A-M-O. Come on, you've seen it on the walls everywhere, especially on the bilge. This gentleman right here is Samo. Then it became even bigger. Then he was on, on uh, 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 you know, Glenn O'Brien's TV party and people would see him on cable television around the city. Tonight, we're lucky enough to have with us uh, probably the most language-oriented of all graffiti artists in New York, Samo and his associate. Samo, yeah. Samo sorry. It's Mr. Samo. It's my personal secretary. Sorry, Mr. Samo. Well, you know, you, you see it written on the walls and you don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, do you write something different every time or do you write the, uh, you know? I've written the same thing before, just... It all depends, you know, like how inspired I feel. What's the last thing you wrote? Which of the following political symbols is omnipresent? A, television, B, the church, C, McDonald's, and D, Samo. 